Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to solve this absolute value equation. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to create two cases. Because remember, if you have the absolute value, and let's just think of a single number, the absolute value of the positive number is going to be equal and same as the absolute value of a negative number, of, as long as those value, the numbers are the same. So it doesn't matter if you're taking the absolute value of the positive or the negative, you're still going to have the same value. So when we're looking at solving an equation with absolute value, we realize that we can have a positive or a negative value inside this absolute equa equation. So therefore, I need to make sure I set, for, set up two cases. And when setting up two cases, um, go ahead and write down the review that we already talked about for the thing. And I'll check. I'm sure you got that's good. Um, we need to set up our two cases, one for the positive, one for the negative. And when we do that, we can eliminate our absolute value um, symbols. So this would be solving for like the positive value. And then we can set up another equation, set it up for the negative value. Now, when you're setting up for the negative value, what we're simply going to do is set our second side of our equation and make that negative. All right, so you can see I'm multiplying by negative 1. But basically, what I'm going to do is now solve each side separately and then check my answer to make sure that I can see that they're correct. So when doing that, I will just add 2x here, add 2x. So I have 9 equals 10 plus 5x minus 10 minus 10, negative 1 equals 5x, divide by 5, divide by 5. So x equals a negative 1 fifth. Now what I want to do is go ahead and obviously check my answer, right? make sure that it is a solution. So to do that, all I'm simply going to do is rewrite the equation, but now plug in a negative 1 fifth in for x. And I already made the mistake earlier. Um, by not using the negative 1 fifth. So be very careful when you're plugging solutions in, because I was like, oh, this is not a solution. Um, and then I had like no solutions for both, but I knew that couldn't be the case. So you've got to be very careful when you're plugging them back in. Make sure, you know, double check your work and so forth, because I even make mistakes all the time. Um, next thing is I need to distribute the negative. When doing that, I now obtain. 9 minus 2x equals negative 10 minus 3x. Then go and uh, isolate the variable x by itself. So I add a 2x, add a 2x. And I have 9 is equal to a negative 10 uh, minus x. Add 10, add 10. 19 equals a negative x. And divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1, and I get x equals a negative 19. Now, automatically, when I see a negative number, I kind of have like a red flag, right? Um, because think about this. When I go ahead and check my answer, before even getting into checking my answer, before even plugging in for here, I know that no absolute value of 9 minus 2x is equal to 10 plus 3 times a negative 19. Now, if I just simplify this, right? Because remember, an absolute value always has to equal a positive value. So Right, when you take the absolute value, absolute value of a number is always going to be positive. Doesn't matter if you're taking the absolute value of a negative or a positive number, it's always going to be positive. So when I do 3 times negative 19, which would be 27, negative 46, I have 10 plus negative 46, which equals negative 36. I don't care what you plug in for this absolute value, it's never going to equal negative, six, negative 36 because it's negative. So therefore, it is not a solution. And here, I'll just go ahead and simplify this. So now this becomes 9 um, plus 2 fifths is equal to 10 minus 3 fifths. And when you go ahead and check your answer on your calculator by plugging everything in, and 10 minus 3 you get a solution. So therefore, negative 1 fifth, ladies and gentlemen, is your only solution. Thanks. All right. So.